Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. In today's video, I have a double Louis Vuitton unboxing and I'm also going to talk to you about authentication, something I feel like is extremely important to do when you're buying pre-loved. Now, do I authenticate absolutely everything? The answer is no. And the reason is because sometimes I get things from trusted sources like Fashion File. This item is from Fashion File, so therefore I'm probably not going to get it authenticated. Now, if this item from Fashion File was a Prattery edition, would I get it authenticated? I would certainly try because I have heard from many sources that the Prada re-editions are so good that even the authenticators don't want to authenticate them. But in most cases, you can get items authenticated with a really high level of certainty. And the company I'm going to talk to you about today is Legit Grails, and they tout that they can determine with 99.3% certainty, which is pretty precise, that their authentications are correct. So we'll get into that here in just a little bit, but first I wanna do this unboxing. Make sure you stick around because this unboxing has quite a story time attached to it. I mean, it is a doozy. My latest Louis Vuitton handbag unboxing was the Trianon PM. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. And in it, I compare that bag to the Palas BB as well as to the Vitote BB. And I have this out for a very special reason. When I made the purchase from Fashion File, I picked up a charm as well, and I told you that, but you don't know what charm it is, so that's why you're here, right? Gonna open this up so that I can show you what I got. Basically, Fashion File had a tiered sale, and when you hit certain thresholds, you got a bigger discount, and this charm got me to that bigger discount. Now, Fashion File put it in their nice little box, and... It, of course, was in a bigger box with confetti and all that jazz, but I didn't want to bring that in my closet. I just didn't feel like it. But here is the charm. And as you can see, it is gold. And it has woven through the edge of the charm monogram canvas on one side with leather on the other side. And in the center, you have an enamel LV, which is absolutely gorgeous. The leather on the other side is either white or cream, and then the ends of the charm have a little flower and another little flower. So this charm is currently on the Louis Vuitton website with black leather around the edges, and I don't know if it's enamel or if it's gold in the center, and it is $520. Look at the hardware on this piece. I mean, it is in excellent, excellent condition. And so I am super excited about it. And I want to try it on the V-Tote because originally I didn't know what this was going to go on. I even thought about getting it and selling it for the 330 that they had it listed for. It had been discounted, I think, 20%. And at 330, it's already 60% off retail when you consider tax. I don't pay tax with Fashion File, which is really nice. And so I thought I could sell this charm and that would make the Trianon PM truly like 30% off retail, even if I sold it for exactly what I paid for it with shipping. But what I thought I would do is I thought I would try it on this bag. Now it may mean taking the luggage tag off, but let me try it first on the edge. So I don't think it really goes on the edge super well. But I am kind of digging it layered with this other charm. Now, do I want to have the next fashion charm? By the way, my code is HBHW20 if you want to pick up a charm from Next Fashion, like the one on this bag. So do I need this charm, this charm, and then the luggage tag, which I also kind of consider a charm? I don't know about that, but I am kind of digging the look. And I could always remove one thing and just see what that does for it. So there is another way to do it. 
if I wanted to switch things up a little bit. I could remove that luggage tag, and actually, I think I like that look better, but I think putting this chain charm back on is going to be the ticket. So I'm digging it. I really think that is special. And I might be able to use this on another of my bags as well. I haven't really explored a whole lot, but I immediately thought of this bag because of the color of the leather. Let me grab my glasses. I really can't see that well. So if you look at it closely, the back side is a little whiter than this leather, but I don't think that's super noticeable. And I feel like the enamel on the LV is almost the same. So I do think it works. Could I possibly put it on Big Bertha here or Miss Barry? I certainly could, but I would have to hook it to the chain strap. And this is a dress up your purse chain strap. They don't have it anymore. I wish they did because it is fabulous. But if I did that, I would, once again, I would remove that key bell that came with the bag. So Fashion File is calling this the Tassel Bag Charm. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the tag. I don't plan on returning this. I really like it. I'm not sure if it will be part of my collection forever and ever, but I do dig the way it looks on the V-Tote. So I'm going to leave it on that for now and leave the luggage tag off. And you'll have to let me know. Do you think if I had it on the end and I was wearing the crossbody strap, it would hang like that? Or... I can have it so where it sort of dangles off the bottom of the bag when the handles are down, but it's mostly up when the handles are up. It's just so cool. I've never seen this in person. Now, I have seen this on sale on 24S, and someone told me recently that on 24S, the items, when they're very first put on there anyway, they're European prices, which is why they're cheaper to me. But I have seen items go on sale on 24S because there was this pink heart bag with empreinte stamped into it with a little red heart scribbled on it. And that bag got marked down all the way down to like 1700 something. And it started higher. And also there is a code and it's like ultimates first. And you can apply that code to certain bags that have been there for a while and get 10% off. So that is a sale as far as I'm concerned. I am super appreciative of the gal who reached out to me though in the comments and told me about how the pricing was done for those bags when they very first go there. I just assumed they were pretty much automatically marked down and that's not the case. And I don't think it happens a whole lot that these items get marked down, but whenever they stick around for a while, I am noticing, and it may be a new thing, that some of them are dropping. And I would say in the last few months is the first time I've noticed that, where I've been tracking items over the long term and seen the price go down. The code thing where you can get 10% off, that's been around ever since I've looked at it. But again, it's only on certain items and it's not on the newest ones so far as I can tell. So before we get to the next unboxing, this portion of the video has been generously sponsored by Legit Grails. And I couldn't be more excited to work with them because I think authenticating your luxury goods is extremely important. And Legit Grails offers a service that does just that. A service that's quite extensive as they authenticate over 250 brands and they have very competitive pricing to boot starting at just $15. I generally, like I said, don't authenticate items from Fashion File, but I have authenticated some of the items I've received from eBay, all of the items I've received from Poshmark and Mercari, and also all of the items that I have received from resellers. I authenticate all of that because I just feel like you can never be too careful. There are very good super fakes out there and I don't ever want to sell something to somebody else that's not real. And so for that reason, I authenticate in all of those circumstances. So with eBay, I always authenticate if eBay doesn't do it. And instances where eBay might not do it would be if it was coming from abroad or if it was below a certain threshold or if the seller miscategorized the item. If the item is a bag, but they don't classify it as a bag, it may not go to eBay authentication. So you wanna make sure that if it's a handbag and it's over $500 here in the United States, being sold here in the United States, 
that it is going to their authenticity center. This bag went to their authenticity center and they authenticated it. So I didn't really have any doubt that it was authentic, but when Legit Grails reached out to me, I thought, why not have them take a look at it too? And then I can experience what their platform is like. I used Legit Grails a while ago, a few years ago, and I enjoyed their service. There was nothing I found wrong with it. I got into using another company just out of habit, kept going back there. But I will tell you that I was very pleasantly surprised by Legit Grills pricing. They have really good pricing. You can get in 30 minutes a authentication for $35. I think that that is excellent. Their pricing starts as low though as $15. And so that is less than what I was paying on the platform I was using. I also found out that they use both AI technology and they also have in-house authenticators look over the items as well in order to ensure that 99.3% accuracy rating. And they authenticate over 250 brands. So that is a whole bunch. One thing that stood out to me when I went in to get this item authenticated is that I noticed they offer bulk authentication. So if you want to authenticate like five pieces, you get a better deal. And I thought that was pretty cool. And then they work with a couple of well-known organizations, Goodwill, Lux Du Jour, as well as Farfetch. So the service I picked for this one was $35 and it was the 30 minute service. When I went in to the platform, it was very easy. I didn't have to download the app, although it would have probably been even easier. And I was able to take pictures using my phone. So they had multiple different categories they wanted a picture for. And I ended up taking pictures for each category where I could with my phone and they automatically went into their system. The only one that I couldn't take with my phone in that way was the NFC chip reading. If you're not familiar with Louis Vuitton's chip system, there is an app called NFC Tools. And when you download that app, you can scan your bag and then you take a screenshot of what it says and you submit that also with your photographs. So once I submitted all of my photographs to Legit Grails, Within 30 minutes, they authenticated this bag and it came back authentic. Now, the printout I have from my printer is horrible. So I'm gonna put it on screen as I'm talking. Basically, it's a certificate showing that the item is authentic and it has some of the photographs I provided to Legit Grails whenever I submitted the bag for authentication. On top of that, they gave me a QR code. And the QR code printed out like this, again, my printer, I don't know what's wrong with it, but you can cut one of these up and insert it inside of your bag. And if someone uses their phone to scan it, then all of the pictures of my bag come up as well as the authenticity certificate. So that's a neat bit of technology. One thing I came across when I was doing the research for this video is that Legit Grails offers a whole bunch of free information for those who want to learn. They have a real versus fake library. They have articles about authentication and they also offer online courses that you can pay a nominal fee if you really want to dig deep into one particular brand or even more than one particular brand. So I didn't really have doubt that this bag was authentic because I do trust eBay's authentication service. It has been overhauled in recent years and it is quite extensive and they have in-house experts as well. But I did want to test out Legit Grails with one of my newer bags. Let me just say I'm impressed. And so if you want to try out their service, I have a discount code. It is HBHW15 for 15% off. I did get this authentication done for free, which I really appreciate because now I can share with you my experience. So I promised you a story and here it is. The second unboxing, also Louis Vuitton. This is the spare part I ordered for my twist bag. And I have to tell you that I got it for free. And how did I get it for free, you may ask? Well, that's the story. But basically I was missing, or I thought I was missing, this section of chain that held this little charm on. 
on the website they show this clip holding the little flower on up by the handle and then they also show a section of five chain links that look just like this with a clip just like that hooking it to the top of the bag so in the interest of completeness i wanted my bag to look like the one on the website and i submitted a repair request three different times the first two times when they told me it was 390 dollars for those five links the connector and the flower which i already had i let it expire i said no i didn't say no well actually i did say no i declined it both those times after thinking about it the third time i went ahead and took the plunge because i decided i wanted all the parts for my twist bag this bag, I would sell it, by the way. I would sell it for 40% off retail. It is currently on the Louis Vuitton website as sold out or not available. And so if you're interested in the pricing to know about where that is, go to the Louis Vuitton website and find the bag. Or you could email me or reach out to me on Instagram. My contact information is always in the description box. After an extended period of time, the Louis Vuitton Repair Center got back to me and mind you, the first time and the second time I submitted a request, I actually spoke to somebody and they told me that the charm came with the five links, the connector, and the flower. On the third time of submission, I bit the bullet, waited another month or so until they told me my part was ready, paid for it, and then a week and a half later, they shipped it to me. The timeline is a very slow one. So let's go ahead and unbox what I got. It is in a very little bag. I opened it in the UPS parking lot because I was oh so excited and I felt it and I started feeling some dismay and I shook out this tiny little flower into my hand, the same flower that I already have. And then I picked up the exterior box and I shook it and I looked in it and I looked in this as if there could be something else inside, which there's not. And then I immediately called Louis Vuitton and said, we have a problem, Houston. And it was Friday morning and they told me they would try to get back to me, but it probably wouldn't be till Monday. And I called them back later on Friday because I was so distressed that I paid $390 for the flower that I already had. And they told me, be patient. We'll get back to you on Monday. Monday came around, they didn't get back to me. Later in the day, I called them and they told me they would get back to me, that they needed 24 to 48 hours. And they ended up getting back to me today on Tuesday, which I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this, but they got back to me today. And the first person said, they made a mistake. They didn't send you the other piece. The person I spoke to on Friday said I would have to mail this back and then they would mail me the whole thing. The person I talked to today told me they made a mistake. They didn't send you the section of chain. Keep this and in four to eight weeks, they will send you the chain. And I said, thank goodness I said this. I said, can you give me a discount? Because I know that with Louis Vuitton repairs, when things are delayed substantially, they oftentimes will do leather work for free and you don't even have to ask they just do it so i said can you give me a discount because of the mess up and she said oh i don't know i don't know but i'll ask my manager and find out well a few hours later the manager called me and it turns out that the photographs on the louis vuitton website showing the chain holding this flower onto the bag they were never supposed to be there. And they were there, I believe, for the entire time the bag was for sale. And nobody noticed that this bag was missing a part, apparently. Nobody told Louis Vuitton that their bag was missing a part. Only I noticed this. <laughs> I'm very detail-oriented if you didn't notice that before. And so the manager thanked me profusely for pointing out their error and told me they would correct it and remove the photographs that showed this section of chain. And then it told me that she would give me a refund for the $390. And so I thought, well, they're gonna want me to send this back, which is fine because I have one. 
And she said, oh no, she said, you just keep that. She said, I know you have one, but then you'll have an extra. So I have an extra little gray enamel flower and I may just create an extra little chain like I did with the other one to attach it to another bag, we'll see. But that is how I got a Louis Vuitton charm for free. And that is the story behind, I guess what you could call a failed unboxing, an unboxing gone wrong due to no fault of my own, but actually because Louis Vuitton put pictures of something that they never had in the first place on their website. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you go check out Legit Girl's website. If not to get something authenticated, just check out the wealth of information they have there about how to determine whether something is real or fake because I think that that information is fascinating as well. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.